Good morning guys, welcome to What I Eat Wednesday. I have a tiny little bowl of oatmeal this morning. I'm about to go to a work meeting um, where they did say they'll have coffee and snacks, but I don't wanna rely on that being like, oh, I'm so hungry, this is my breakfast. So I'm just having a very small amount. I have about a sixth of a cup oatmeal. I just did like half, because I have a third cup scoop in there, so I just did half of that, so I'm like, I only want a little bit. Tripsy, you're just walking all over the place. We have to do your nails. <laughs> um, and then I put some cinnamon, cloves, and ginger. And then I also put some ground chia seeds as well. So, oh, and then I topped it off with almond milk and put it in the microwave. So, let's see how this tastes. Fine. I have to look back on because I think last year I went through a phase of loving oatmeal and I would, well, liking oatmeal. And I did all these different things and I, yeah, I didn't mind it, but like now the past few times I've had oatmeal, it's just disgusting. It'll make, at least make my stomach not rumble during like the next hour of my meeting. So I ended up not eating anything at the um, meeting, so it was good that I had a little bit of snack or a little bit of breakfast beforehand. There was coffee and like some homemade cookies, but I like got the last seat before they started bringing new seats in um, because I came early, but then I ended up trying to find the boardroom in this big building, so that took like 10 minutes. Anyway, so then I didn't want to make more of a big deal going to get dessert and stuff, so yes. So now we're going to have dinner. We're going to make our egg wraps that we commonly have. Cooking the onion and garlic, and then I'm going to add some spinach, and Dan's just cracking all the eggs. So then just adding the egg mixture, it has some rosemary, and lo and behold, Dijon mustard, <laughs> that apparently I eat more than I know. So then I put lettuce, salsa, and sour cream. And then we're gonna put the eggs, oh, wrong side, there we go. <laughs> With the spinach and all those other yummy flavors in there. Now that it's all done, didn't wrap it as tight as I usually do. But that's what we're gonna have. So I'm off to work now and I'm just steeping my tea. I have the David's Tea Cardamom French Toast. This is by far my favorite. Oh, it smells so good. So yes, I'm just gonna brew this for a little bit longer than adding a little splash of almond milk to it and then going to teaching. So I'm home from work and for dinner we're going to be roasting a whole head of cauliflower. And instead of the usual bits that I chop it up into, we're doing the whole thing in one. So we'll see. Um, leftover sour cream, just a little. Ideally it'd be like one and a bit cups of Greek yogurt, but I'm just having a little less because that was all that was left over of sour cream. And then adding in some cumin, pepper, curry powder, garlic salt, chili powder, and some lemon juice. We have that all mixed now. Look at all those spices. I used, I toned down the spices a little bit since I'm doing a lot less, um, well, yogurt or sour cream, which takes the heat off. So instead of two tablespoons of chili powder, I used one tablespoon, and then just under a tablespoon of cumin, and then one tablespoon, yeah, just under one tablespoon of garlic salt, and then, what was this? Chili powder, a teaspoon chili powder, uh, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then just a I think a teaspoon of lemon. So we're gonna mix this all together, and then we're going to coat our cauliflower in it. I also added some smoked paprika because I love smoked paprika. It definitely tastes spicy, but we'll see how it's when it's cooked. So then, basically, you just dunk your cauliflower in there oh my gosh and then use the rest to completely coat it oh yeah and I used probably it was about a third of a cup of sour cream and that's plenty because the original recipe called for one and a half cups and I don't know I don't think I'd want to slather this on any thicker so yeah. So I'm just going to finish coating all of this and then I have my greased baking sheet beside that I'm going to put it on 
and then we're going to bake it for about 30 to 40 minutes at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's what it looks like now. <laughs> so strange. But that's good and we're going to put it in the oven. So I ended up leaving it in for 45 minutes because everywhere else I was looking then um, for roasting a whole cauliflower, they're saying like leave it in for an hour. Now this was at 400 so a little bit hotter but anyway so I was like 45 minutes instead of just 30 to 40. Um, and then when I had like two minutes left or so then it started to smell and I was like get the cauliflower out but it was just because um, the sour cream was a bit more liquid than like firm Greek yogurt so Pan had some drippings that then burnt so that's Pan but here's the cauliflower dun, 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 dun. so this crust is actually yeah it's like a crust it's not like super crispy but it's firm to the touch that looks really cool so now I'm going to attempt to cut into it. Mmm. Mmm. Ah. Okay, we'll try a second one. The second one is always easier, but look at that. That looks cool. So that's what it looks like now. Ooh. <laughs> All right, so lots of the flavor. Wow, that's spicy, but really good. And it is cooked, so 45 minutes on 400 was good. Okay, I'm glad I only did one <laughs> tablespoon of chili powder, not two. But that's actually really good. I tasted the um, marinade on its own, or like the topping on its own, and it was just two overblown different spices, but all together it really works. So. I'm gonna be having that now. <laughs> Yum. So the cauliflower was very good. It wasn't that filling, obviously, because it's just the cauliflower. So we ended up eating it all. Um, I had half, Dan had half. I would say definitely it'd be better to have like a protein with it. Obviously, I mean, because it's just a vegetable. Um, but my plan was just to make that, so that's okay. Um, yeah, even like for me, like a quinoa salad on the side or tofu or something, but anyways, it was still very good. Um, so now I'm just having some coffee. Um, usually I don't have coffee at night and it is, actually it's only nine, it feels later. But um, Dan and I are scheduling out our Paris itinerary, so we'll be up for another couple of hours planning to a T what we're doing, but well, leaving time for everything, so yes. So, transitioning into that, the next two What I Ate Wednesdays um, may be a bit late. I'm going to be doing my best to still post them, but they probably won't be, like, usually they're up every Wednesday, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, they're, one is a travel day and one is while we're in Paris, so I will still be doing What I Ate Wednesdays uh, and uploading them. I just don't know if they will be you know, to the time when they usually are. So they will be coming, um, and Paris vlogs will be coming as well, but yeah, I'll still see you guys on my Sunday vlog too before that. So thanks for watching this week, and look forward to exciting What I Ate Wednesdays coming up. <laughs> Bye.